some of the things retired guys do uh, the hardwood in this particular area of my woods here grew up this used to all be cedar at one time this was a big deer yard from the swamp across the tracks right up through halfway up the mountain now you can see up there on the interstate that green is all cedar but what happened the hardwood grew up through it and killed it it choked it out cedar is and that's just what happens in reforestation uh, for years farmers came here they cut cedar fence posts God they came here with horses and they skidded them out my grandfather great-grandfather cut and sold them I've cut cedar posts up here when I was a kid my dad I didn't do it he did it I went with him I wasn't that old and I pulled these out the other day when I was up here and those right there I'll run on the mill not that thing that that's just firewood but those I'm going to run over the mill for cedar boards this will provide bonfire wood for the summer this will provide easy slit and kindling wood for the winter and these I'm going to make a bigger raised bed or eight foot raised beds but I want to make a couple more of them and I take them and I run them over the mill on two sides. I just do top, we'll call this top and bottom. And I just leave this side natural. Well, that way they lay together nicely. Um, I don't cut them all uniform because I have the mill right there. So when I get to the top, if I need four inches on one side, I can cut a four inch piece. And if I need two on the other side to be level across, I can do that easy enough. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a lot because I didn't rehearse this video in my mind at all. Usually I think them through a little bit. I never edit them, but I think them through. And uh, I don't sell the raised beds at this point. I may at some time. I don't. I've made one on that style before. I liked it, and I want to do some more. The cedar boards, I have no plans for whatsoever. They may be gifted to somebody for a hen house, a playhouse utility shed i don't usually charge for this type of stuff much depends if they want to throw me a half gallon of now it's evan williams because ezra brooks is gone I'll, I'll take it but other than that i don't worry much about it i don't have a lot of money in it just time and i really enjoy being out here by myself in the woods doing this sort of thing i know you're saying well there's a super highway right behind you but you know what you can't park your car and come down here you can't leave your car on the internet so nobody comes here it's it's you know this road is good right here i'll start the camera when i get down to the railroad tracks for those who haven't seen it and it there's a beaver pond you have to drive through and everybody freaks out when they see it so nobody comes here well it's not a big deal i've never had an issue getting through it it's not that big of a deal if i get stuck well i'm gonna worry about getting pulled out Oh, geez, there's a maple right there. Look, I just find this stuff all the time. Top broken out of. It should be cut while it's still valuable, because if you leave it, maple rots especially fast. And uh, I can see that's pretty much dead. Geez, I think it's all dead. I don't see any leaves on it. The leaves are just starting over here. I don't know if you can see those or not up there. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Hope you find an interest in it.